World Mental Health Day, observed on 10th October, is a global initiative aiming to raise awareness about mental health issues and advocate for much needed support. In an increasingly stressful world, mental health challenges affect a significant portion of the global population, emphasizing the importance of addressing this critical issue. According to the World Health Organization, approximately 1 in 10 individuals worldwide grapples with a mental health disorder, encompassing conditions such as depression, anxiety and substance abuse across diverse age groups and backgrounds. As the world observed this day, notable Nigerians on the streets of Lagos spoke about causes and why it should be handled with utmost concern. Mental health or mental illness is a situation where someone is having unsteady, is having an unsteady uh, I mean, thinking. Its level of thinking, its level of reasoning doesn't correlate with a normal lifestyle. Mental is a psychological, emotional, and can act, can act as our well being. And I just feel the cause, the cause of this mental health is, I think, a child trauma, child abuse, you know, what, what you've gone through, debt, being stressed, everything you've like a test of the day. The COVID-19 pandemic has aggravated the mental health crisis, amplifying levels of stress, fear and uncertainty globally. Research indicates a notable surge in mental health issues since the pandemic's onset, underscoring the urgent need for accessible mental health services. While seeking professional health is vital, Individuals facing mental health challenges should also prioritize recognizing signs and symptoms, reaching out for professional help, building a support network, practicing self-care, and adhering to prescribed treatment plans. The time I was going through some trauma, I stopped being online, I stopped texting, I stopped replying messages, I stopped taking calls. If a friend of mine noticed me, I'm always online, he noticed I've not been online, he started calling, what's up, I said I'm going to one or two things. So started calling and make me feel good. He talked to me. It made, it made me feel everything will be fine. I just have to be calm. I just have to take one or two steps. That's it. Once you notice someone isn't isn't in his right sense, just try and get in touch with the person to know what is good for them. I think um, most of uh, organizations should, should should do more creating uh, a friendly environment. Maybe every Saturday you call your colleagues in the office. Let's go out. Let's go to the beach and sit down. Have some. You know, it's you know. Some people are having this mental aids. But they don't know how to tell people. That's why like sometimes you see somebody hit somebody at the time, the person does fell uh, and, and die. You don't know what the person is facing. This year's theme is Mental Health is a Universe Human Right. And in supporting individuals dealing with these challenges, education and understanding are key. It's crucial for those around them to educate themselves about various mental health conditions, including avoiding stigmatizing language and behavior. Stakeholders are also encouraged to create necessary and continuous awareness. Let people be on the streets and starting maybe by banner or poster, anybody around that place, you, you talk to them so that when you are doing all this, it can reduce the pressures. Those people who don't, don't know that this is what is happening. And this, what they are doing can affect them. So they will be aware that what they are doing can affect them. To do is to, that awareness is very key. Because when people are aware of certain things, they will be very careful. They monitor themselves. themselves. Then the NGO, the so-called media houses, Health organizations should do a lot, to do a lot in organizing either outdoor or house to house I mean, uh, orientation to educate people the advantages of being uh, having a good mental study, study. By fostering an environment of compassion and support we can collectively contribute to breaking down barriers. Mental health matters, and together, we can make a difference in the lives of those affected. Grace Komolafe, Soup News.